Hello and welcome to new parenting training. So today I went out and got this DeWalt handheld leaf blower. So this is fully electric. Uh, it uses battery on the back. And one of the reasons why I want to get this is we have to use this indoor. We do have a leaf blower at home, but that's gasoline. Yeah, but if we're going to use indoor, there's too much uh, gas film that will be remain inside. So this will be a good option. And plus, I already have like a Deval uh, power tool, so the battery is in interchangeable. So this is a perfect uh, setup for me, at least. Uh, if down the road I want to get more power tools, I can just get Deval because the battery is interchangeable, and that helps a lot uh, in terms of cutting down costs, you know. Uh, but this particular one I got uh, is not only the leaf blower itself, but also come with the battery and the charger. So I'm gonna open this up today and then I'm gonna show you what we actually need it for uh, in terms of getting things done indoor. Uh, and also like maybe I'll show you how this thing work outside as well. But mainly it's for the indoor. <laughs> anyway. All right, here's the tubing, manual instruction. Here's a charger, the battery. All right, here is the leaf lower the body itself. Oh, it's fairly light weight, so it's not that heavy. Let me combine them. Oh, that was a little tricky to put in there, but you just have to wiggle it in. Uh, there's a orientation of it. There's one sticking out point from the tube and you have to set it correctly in order for this whole thing to go in. Just make sure the tube, when you push it in, it will be right side, the words are right side up against the logo here. So that way you can make sure that the, the tube is attaching correctly. Wow, this is surprisingly lightweight. Here we go. Woo. So the way that you're gonna operate this leaf blower is on the trigger up top. It's variable. So you can actually set it uh, lower or higher depending on how hard you squeeze the trigger. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit loud and I'm gonna put on some ear pull to, to prevent my lost hair. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go charge this battery now and then I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so here we are. Uh, what the reason why I need the leaf blower indoor to use it indoor because of this vent. This is the dryer's vent, and what happened is that uh, it's been clogged up by the lint uh, from the dryer. So not only it get clogged up here, uh, the and the dryer is not working all that well. Every time we we use the dryer, the the clothes will still come out kind of moist. So what happened was not only that, but I think. I'm not quite sure why, but the vent for the dryer is linked with the kitchen sink piping uh, vent as well. So because this get caught up, the water from the kitchen will not go down all that smooth either. So a lot of time we have to wait like a minute or so for all the water to drain down. So all in all, it's really frustrating uh, because of the, the, the water not going down, the dryer not functioning well. So I end up getting um, the leaf blower and hopefully I can resolve this problem. Now one other issue I have with this house is that uh, the vent is not visible from outside. So it's not along the wall. So we assume that the vent is on top of the ceiling, which I cannot get to easily. So for a lot of other houses, usually the vent is on the side of the wall. So it's easy for you to get to. So what I'm gonna do, I took out the pipe, the housing for the pipe on the wall. I took them out and also I used vacuum to try to clean out as much lint as possible from the pipe, from the dryer, and then uh, some of it here, uh, as far as the pipe from the vacuum can go into. That only lead me to the last part, which used the leaf blower. So, um, I have some towel here. What I'm going to do is to put it right against here. Now, because there are still some space, 
uh, you want to make sure there's no air that's going to come out you want to have a tight seal so then if any lint that will get blown back it won't come out this way yeah this is a very confined environment i'm putting on a headphone so it will not as loud for me uh, when i turn this leaf blower on so anyway uh, all right now let's try this Oh, honestly, I don't really know how long I should uh, try to blow the pipe through here. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this correctly, but if I'm going to plug back in the pipe and the kitchen sink is working fine and the dryer is working, uh, that means at least I'm doing something right. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's, it's dry. It's actually dry. Oh, nice. You know, this is, this works. Now, usually at this point, I was start talking about the likes and dislikes. So the likes, there are plenty to talk about. For one thing, compared to my gasoline power leaf blower, this thing is relative the same size in terms of dimension, but it's half of the weight. You are not gonna get tired by using it on one hand. Now with the gasoline one, definitely you need to pour gasoline and then you had to star it and that will take some time but for this electric leaf blower you, you know you once you have the fully charged battery you put it on and you're ready to go and it's that simple you just pull the trigger and it just start and because it's electric i can use it indoor so not only i got the dryer vent all clear out but i was able to use it in my garage as well now usually if i use the gasoline leaf blower in the garage that will leave some kind of gasoline smell linger inside for some time but for this yeah there's no smell and i get the job done in minutes it definitely had no issue blowing grass as well uh, blowing leaves grass on the floor you you name it it will get the job done so this dewalt battery power leaf blower definitely worth every penny especially if you are already on the dewalt ecosystem like me uh, I have a power tool that uses the DeWalt uh, battery. So to me, I'm already one foot in the door with DeWalt. So it's definitely m make more sense to buy this electric leaf blower. And if I run out of juice on this one, I just swap it and then uh, get it going because I have a spare battery already. Now speaking of battery, after t about 10 minutes of use, I check on the battery, like it, <laughs> it didn't even go to the second bar. So the battery power, it definitely lasts for quite some time. Now I haven't used the battery all the way down to I need to recharge, but at this rate, one single battery charge can last me for quite some time. So all honestly, I cannot find anything fault with this leaf blower. Maybe the price tag, but if you already in the DeWalt ecosystem, you can actually just buy the leaf blower itself without purchasing the battery and the charger along with it. That will save you another like around 70 to $80. So it's definitely worth every penny to get one of this electric leaf blower. So anyway, that's my review of this DeWalt leaf blower. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.